Hello, my name is Brother McGill, and I'm back with some more words of comfort. But before I begin, I'd like to say I am so sorry for those who lost loved ones of this virus, those who go through poverty, those who are struggling, those who are going through so much because of this virus. I am so sorry. I am really am sorry. But I also like to say stay strong. Never give up. Always stay in God. Don't don't ever, don't ever give up. That's what Satan wants us to do, to give up. And I know it's, it's terrible what's going on and what's happening, but stay strong. Always stay strong. Don't ever give up. I had to say that again. Don't ever give up. Because as I see on the uh, internet, I see so many things from my own eyes and hear with my own ears. And I see so many things that's not true. What the Bible says. The Bible says the truth. But what people I've seen on the internet, it's ridiculous. So once again, I'm back here with words of comfort. I'd also like to thank those who watch the videos. I thank y'all for that. Stay strong, stay in the word of God, no matter what. So that these times of what's going on, Lead you astray. Stay strong, no matter what. And once again, before I begin, I, before I begin with these scriptures, I like to open up the word of prayer. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, Lord, save Jesus Christ. We thank you, dear Lord. No matter what goes on in our life, goes on in our lives, rather, and, and what what things that have happened, dear Lord, we thank you for everything. We thank you for all the air you give us each and every morning. The, Food give us, dear Lord, the clothes on back. We thank you for that, dear Lord. And I pray, Father God, for those who are uh, going through a terrible time, the sick, the shut in, and those that were reading. And I pray for them, dear Lord. May you have them in bad time and bless them in good time. I also pray, dear Lord, that this could be an eye over to all of us, dear Lord, that one day we're going to die. And we got to make sure we are doing what you have us to do, no matter what goes on. No matter what happens, we got to stay focused on you so we can uh, make our election sure to come just today. So we ask you, dear Lord, as we go to some more scripture or words of comfort, we pray, dear Lord, to give us more wisdom and knowledge and understanding, help us with our spiritual growth. We pray, dear Lord, that the words that we hear, dear Lord, will keep us strong, Father God. And I pray, Father God, for those who are out there to watch the videos, dear Lord, that is to keep them strong, dear Lord, in the terrible and dark times that we live in. We thank you, dear Lord, no matter what goes on in our lives, no matter what happens, once again, we thank you. And we just pray these prayers to you in your divine, holy, almighty, wonderful name. Thank you for everything. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'd like to go on some scriptures with you. Uh, words of comfort. I know it comforts me. You know, like, words of comfort. And we need something out here these days to make sure we stay strong. When bad things come our way, we got to make sure we stay strong. So I'm, I like to go over some words with you of comfort. When y'all mind turning with me to Romans chapter 16, at verse 17 through 18, that is Romans chapter 16, 17 through 18. Once again, for those out there, that is Romans chapter 16, 17 through 18. And it reads, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division and offense, offenses contrary to the doctrine, meaning teaching, which ye have learned, and avoid them. For they are such, serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own bellies, and by good words and fair speeches, to see the hearts of the simple. That's what they are here doing right now. Well, I've been doing it for years, but it, it's so stronger right now. As I, as like I say, I see on the internet, I just see so many different things. So how you are saved, all this and this. I'm like, whoa, what happened to the word of God? Why are people not teaching the gospel? I'm like, whoa, they said something totally different out here. And why you gotta make sure you stay with the truth, which is the word of God. They're gonna see the heart of the simple. 
popes out here, preachers, even pastors out here, they go to see the heart of the simple because some out here tell people they are saved only just by going to church. And you are saved. They tell people out here that if you sing in the choir, you are saved. They tell people out here that if you uh, do some good work in church, you are saved. They tell people also out here, if you just give your offering, you are saved. They tell people that. That's all you got to do. You are saved. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying not to go to church. I'm not saying not to sing in the choir. I'm not saying not to do good works in church. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is they tell the people these things and without knowing the word of God for yourself, like I didn't, I believe such things like that. But I'd like to show you right now what saved us. And it's not doing no things. And see, that's how they go to see the hearts of the simple minded because they're not following God. They are following this world and what man tell them and not what the word of God say. So I would like everyone who watch, who are out there and watching, turn to me to James chapter 1, 19 through 21. That is James chapter 1, 19 through 21. Once again, that is James chapter 1, 19 through 21. And it reads, Wherefore, lay apart, I'm sorry, excuse me, at verse 19. Wherefore, my beloved brother, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man working not the righteousness of God. Wherefore, lay apart all flirtiness and super flirting and naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. So that means nothing else save your soul but the word of God will save your soul. So if you, uh, we all have common sense, you know. I, if I, that, so that means if I put the word, of, the Bible tells us in Colossians three sixteen, let the word of Christ do, uh, dwell in you richly. Colossians three sixteen, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. And if the word of God will save us. So if I had the word of God in me, then I should be what saved. Don't be deceived out here by no one, not even me. Know the word of God for yourself and stay strong. Each and every day, stay strong. Don't ever give up any dark time to live in. Stay strong. When bad things happen, still stay strong with God. Just don't ever give up. And that's what Satan wants you to do. Satan wants you down and uh, sitting in hell with him for eternity in torment with him. And I know no one wants that. So stay strong with God. Now one day we all going to die. We got to make sure we do what God has us to do, no matter what. Do you think all the disciples, back in Jesus' time, the disciples, all what all they went through, before they, when they became apostles, excuse me, the disciples did the apostles, and with all the apostles, what they went through, they went through so much beating, drowned, and so much other stuff that happened to them. You think they went, they went through all that? If God wasn't real. So we live in terrible times right now. Don't give up. We got to go through things too. Like, it's, like the Bible tells us, the scripture must be fulfilled. Jesus Christ came and died. So, so the scripture will be fulfilled like the Bible says. So things go happen. So all scriptures should be fulfilled. Please keep mindful on that. And one of the scriptures I'd like to read to you. Romans chapter 1. At verse 20 through 32, that's Romans chapter 1, 20 through 32. Excuse me. Right here, who's going to, uh, to, uh, to be deceived? The simple-minded is going to be deceived. Who is going to be deceived? The simple-minded. 
Now, Romans chapter 1, 20 through 32. Romans chapter 1, 20 through 32. That is Romans chapter 1, 20 to 32. And it reads, For the visible things of him from creation of this world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead. That means God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost, so that they are without excuse. That means let you know you can clearly see there's a God. You can clearly see there's a God out here. You can clearly see it. Because generally there won't be no excuses. Verse 21, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imagination, and their foolish hearts was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. And changed the glory of the uh, corruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man and to birds and four footed beasts and creepy things. Wherefore, God also gave them up to a cleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship. And serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Verse 25 again, who changed the truth of God. Jesus Christ tells us John, Gospel of John 16, as uh 17, 17, excuse me. Gospel of John 17, 17, that the word is the truth. That's Gospel of John uh 17, 17, that the word is the truth. I'm finally to make sure before I leave and make sure I'm saying that right. But, but he did say the word is the truth. For this cause, God gave them up to, uh, to avail affections. For their old, uh, for their women did change their natural usage to which is against nature. And likewise, also the man leaving their nature use of the woman burned in their own lust, one toward another man with man, working with working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that the confidence of the air which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do the things which are not convenient, being filled with all of uh, of righteousness, fornication, wickedness, covenants, malicious, full of uh, envy, murder, debate, deceit, magnitude, whispers, backbiters, haters of God, despisers, despiteful, excuse me, proud, bolstering, and filled up evil things, disobedient to their parents. Verse 31, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful. Verse 32, who nor the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only to do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. People call out and tell the people it's okay. Uh, God loves you. God loves you. You can do this. You can do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. You can be a doctor. You can be a liar. You can be a backbiter. You can be this. You can be that. You can be that. And you still going to heaven. Once again, I heard it with my own ears. And tell people all these things that's not true. But once again, verse 32 says, Who know the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. So don't forget that. Always keep that mindful. That if I'm doing things like this, I don't end up in hell with Satan for eternity. Remember that. And keep that always mindful. Because people can tell you anything. But make sure the truth will come to the Word of God. Make sure you see it in the Word of God. And people can tell you anything out here. Now, I'm going to find a verse for you real fast. The Gospel of John chapter 17, 17. Make sure I get that verse right. Yeah? The Gospel of John 17, 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. The word is the truth. Jesus Christ said that. That is Gospel of John chapter 17, 17. I hope these words are comfort reach you and help you out in your everyday lives because I know it helps me to stay strong.
Yes, I'm not without fault either. I make mistakes too. But I follow God and stay with God no matter what. I stay with God. As I grow in God, I'm being better and better and a better person as I grow in God. So I plead with you. Stay with God and His Word no matter what goes on, no matter what happens. Because there's a lot of false preachers out here telling you anything of how you are saved. And you, you can do this and do that, do that, do that, and still go to heaven. And people would rather believe that than what the truth of God's word say. The truth of the gospel. I love y'all, whether I know y'all or not. Y'all take care. And God bless you and stay strong and never give up. Uh, to, I shall be back very, very soon with another word of comfort. Love y'all. Take care. God bless.